us right now is Don Murphy, event coordinator of the Hamilton City Center. Reason being, and this is a great idea, uh, the buzz on James Street North is spreading south to the uh, Hamilton City Center. Next week, the mall is unleashing bumblebees, balloons, and businesses in its launch of a new uh, Busy Bee Shoppers Village. It is part of an overall push to position itself as a key part of the James North renewal with community-oriented activities, clean of the exterior, uh, efforts to boost mall traffic, and plug into the growing arts vibe. To talk more more about this is Don Murphy, events coordinator at Hamilton City Center, and joining us now. Good afternoon, Don. How are you today? Hey, Scott. I'm well, and I have uh, Anna here also. Who? Anna. Anna Casillas. I'm the general manager. Anna, it's great to have you here as well. Thank you for having us. Uh, this is a great idea. You know, I was sitting down, we were broadcasting live uh, from across the road at the uh, Lister uh, block when it reopened up. And I thought, what a magnificent movement we now have on down in that area. And, and it's just amazing how it has changed in such a short period of time. Uh, all you have to do is walk around a couple of blocks and you can see it from uh, obviously uh, there all the way down around the library, so on. Uh, you know, and I remember at that point looking over at the city center and thinking, you know what, uh, this now needs to be the next project. And man, you guys have jumped right on this. Tell us what your plans are, what you got in mind. Well, this is all part of the revitalization of the Hamilton City Center and partaking with the rest of the, um, the owners on James Street. Um, we're looking for vendors to participate in our Shoppers Village. Um, we're trying to encourage more people to come downtown, come and visit this beautiful building, come and see many of our tenants that have been here for many, many years. Um, they're also looking forward to this, this new venture and participating in, in the project. So it seems like you're, uh, rather than trying to do something different, you're embracing what's going on down there. Exactly. We want, we want to have our own momentum. We want to have our own um, little vibe going on in the building. It's great to see what's happening on James Street North. We see that it's coming up along James Street South, and we just felt that was the time to jump on board and, and participate with them. And as we said yesterday to the spectator, the Lister Block renovation was a huge cloud that was lingering over this area for a long time. And once we saw that completed, we thought now's the time to jump on board. So what can people expect? I mean, you know, uh, at the end of the day, it's a building sitting next door to another group of buildings. So what, what can we expect? What can we see when we go inside? And w what is, uh, you know, uh, your vision of, of what you hope it to be one day? Um, with the Shoppers Village that we're trying to do is to bring those uh, unique vendors that, you know, can have a chance to come in and draw more clients that uh, shoppers to our mall and it gives them an opportunity to showcase what they can do. You know, there's quite a few people that uh, have a talent here in Hamilton and a lot of the people, a lot of the vendors that we have are from Hamilton. And uh, so, you know, they're looking forward to it. We have a lot of good buzz with them. And uh, just with another lady we just talked about, she was excited because she hasn't been in the mall for a long time. And I think that's the biggest thing. I mean, a lot of people think that we're just Jackson Square or, you know, we're just an office building. So, you know, with working on that concept of the Busy Bee Shopper and including our regular retailers here, you know, bringing that new vibe here and refreshing the inside, just like the outside, we have our new signs going up and, you know, cleaning it up like they did already across the block, right? So, yeah, we're all excited to um, get our launch dates going. So the buzz is happening for July 6th. So, uh, you know, it, I mean, so many urban centers have had to deal with uh, what Hamilton has dealt with, uh, the changing times. Uh, it almost seems that, you know, through one period we went into uh, the mall period, which is how Jackson Square was developed. Now we seem to be going back to uh, the more traditional storefronts and, and traditional what urban uh, centers were. What I think is great about this is you guys are trying to come up with some sort of hybrid and, and bringing the two worlds together, because it sort of was the mall world and then this uh, this small group of artisans or, or vendors who, who wanted to sell wares in some of the most primitive ways. It's great that you can bring these two uh, groups together. Well, you know, and that was uh, the goal when I was sitting down with Anna and trying to figure out, you know, what the other things that we could do with the mall. And Anna's been here for a while, so she has seen the changes. And um, I live in Burlington. I mean, I've been in the Hamilton area, but uh, she has seen the difference. And I said, you know, there's a lot of people that would like to be down here. They just don't really know about the area. 
and giving this information of them coming in about the busy bee and we're going to have some other community things that we would like to host here to draw people into the area, you know? Well, it's interesting. It almost reminds me of uh, the synergy that's developing now between the food trucks and the restaurants. Like at one time, one saw uh, the one saw the other one as an enemy. Now they're slowly realizing that you know it's all part of a, a greater solution. Uh, just because you're from two different sides of the street doesn't mean you can't work together on something. You know, and you're absolutely right. I mean, we're not here to take away the smaller businesses that are on Jane Street. We want to work with them. We want to be part of it. We want them to know that we're here for them too. So you know, letting know that, letting them know that we do have uh, an area for the smaller people of like a vendor that would like to showcase themselves. And a lot of times they don't want to be outside. They don't have the tents. It's raining. Those kind of things when you do festivals. Because um, I've done a few of those. So there's a lot of people going, yeah, I like that. And it's really nice how beautiful the mall is. You don't really feel like you're you're um, inside. Well, you feel like you're outside with the skylights and the atrium. It's sort of a smaller community within a large mall environment without that feeling of being in a large mall. So where are we now uh, with this, ladies? Where uh, are you looking for vendors? At what point are we now? Yes, we're looking for vendors. Um, we've got about 25 of them now. Yeah, we have 25. And we're looking for the unique ones. Like, I'm still looking. It would be great to have a woodworker and a quilter, things like that. We have a lot of great jewelry people, and we have some house drinks, and we have some clothing. We have a beautiful lady that makes these gorgeous aprons, so she's going to have a big bumblebee one. So we have some big bumblebees that are going to be in the mall. Uh, we're going to have the mascot that's going to walk around, so that's going to be great for the kids. So obviously what you guys are looking to do is incorporate this whole block together, uh, blend in what's developed with the Lister block, uh, uh, obviously already there with Jackson Square, the library block, all of that into one. Exactly. That's what we're doing is we, we don't want to be left out. We want to be part of the environment, part of the community, part of the revitalization, and just work as one, one community. Do you think this is the answer? You know, obviously, as we said, uh, retail trends uh, trends change so quickly, it seems now. Uh, do you think this is part of a new hybrid that you're working on? It is, and I think part of the goal is uh, we want to attract more people downtown. We don't want people to leave at the end of the day when they're done. I mean, we've got a huge daytime population downtown. We need to keep them down here a little bit longer as opposed to leaving at 4.35 o'clock. Can we put a giant grocery store in there? We, we're actually looking into that. Um, we have a couple of uh, interests in that. We're looking at uh, possible high-tech um, medical walk-in pharmacy just, just to add to that community. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, obviously, uh, a giant, or not a giant, but, you know, whatever the answer is of a grocery store, I don't pretend to know if it the store looks like this or looks like that. It'll probably be a hybrid just much like everything else is down there. Uh, but, boy, wouldn't that be the answer to a lot of your uh, issues? Well, it would. We have a larger uh, community of housing coming down here. We've got condos going up. Uh, we've got the McMaster campus coming downtown that just is going to, to bring more people into the core. And, you know, let's face it, we don't have time to, to stop at a grocery store on the way home. I'd sooner pick up my groceries downtown and head home. Much interest in getting uh, a grocery store into that place, into that space? Is it possible or are we just dreaming here? No, absolutely it's possible. How far are we along in the process? Preliminary stages right now. Still looking. Still looking. Yeah, All right. Have some interest. We're still trying to iron out some details. This is an absolutely brilliant idea, and, uh, you know, it's just another great idea how uh, uh, all of these different communities can work together, create a synergy that uh, creates a great buzz downtown, and it's great to see that uh, Hamilton City Center is uh, jumping on board with all of this. Uh, Don and Anna have been with us, uh, event coordinator and general manager of the Hamilton City Center. Uh, thanks very much for the time. Much appreciated. Great luck, and if there's anything we can do to help spread the word, by all means, let us know. Well, thank you, Scott. Um, our our grand opening is July 6th. Mm -hmm. And we have July 20th, and then August 10th and 24th, and then come September, we're going to go weekly with uh, the vendors. Website or any place we can go to find out more what's going on down there? I'm going to have the uh, Twitter and Facebook running next week, Perfect. and uh, so hopefully we'll have that up probably by July 3rd. All right, thanks very much, and good luck. Bye. Thank you very much. All right, uh, Hamilton City Center being part of the James Street uh, buzz. and the. James